Isaiah chapter 40, verse 4. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the need for you to be motivated has come. Do not allow broken glass to call China or the antique a failure. The word of God, this scripture, has come to tell you and I that you are a winner. Arise, chest high, chin high, head high, and march, O thou child of God. Do not allow the world to call you a failure. Do not allow the world to dictate to you the reasons of your existence, which is in the palm of your Saviour's hand. Every valley shall be exalted. That which is so hard for you to do, the living God shall give you the mind to be able to accomplish it. And every mountain and hill shall be made low. That which is so hard for you shall be made smooth, O oh, beloved child of God. And the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. So they who are sitting on what belongs unto you, the living God shall make those same individuals who are in a position of power, using their iron fist to lord themselves over you shall use them to sing your praises shall use them to give you good references shall use them to propel you and push you forward the living god is saying unto you and i that you are a winner for the son of god overcame for the son of god is a winner so if you are in him you shall also win so do not Allow the spirit of depression to hold you captive. Do not allow your duvet cover to make you feel comfortable because the word of God has come to say unto you and I, come out of that duvet cover. Come out of that court cover for the time for you to succeed has come. The time for you to move forward has come. The time for you to win has come. This scripture is telling you and I that only his word can motivate you. So arise and receive what the Lord has prepared for you. If we can trust in him and truly serve him with all that we have, there shall come a time that all that are around us shall see the reasons why we are always singing, shall see the reasons why our soul is always delighted because the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. So even your secret doubters shall behold the manifestation of the beauty of God. Let us therefore conclude by going to the book of Second Chronicles chapter 15 verse 3 which says, Now for a long season Israel have been without the true God and without a teaching priest, and without law. Amen. In other words, meaning, children of God, they who are waiting and hoping and dependent upon the living God, have been without the true message. Have been without the true message, and have been made to be dependent on the scraps have been made to be dependent on what man is speaking. The living God has said for a long season, Israel have been without the true God. This night, the word of God has come to say unto you and I, that his motivation has come to elevate you, to make you to arise, to get out of your bed, that you may receive what he's given unto you. Do not Allow the spirit of depression 
to set in and take shape and root in your life. For the power to be able to turn over the tables has been given unto you. So turn over the tables of the suppression in your life. For a long time, you've been without the truth. For a long time, you have not been receiving encouragement. For a long time, you have not been motivated, but made to depend upon the scraps that so-called priests, prophets, bishops have been given. For a long time. And the living God has been seeing all of this. And tonight, he has come to give you this motivation. You are a winner. You're made to be number one. They thought you are last, but he said you shall be first. They put you at the bottom, but the Lord prepared a place for you at the top that no man shall be able to stop. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. These are the words of my master.